All right then guys, welcome to the video. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting day. As you can see, the S2000 is jacked up at the front because I've managed to get my dream brake set up for the front of this car. I actually wanted to run these brakes on the Civic as well, but because of the color of those, it didn't really work with the theme I was going for, hence why I ended up with the red Brembos. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that the accent color I'm sort of going for with this is a yellow. And originally the brakes I wanted to get didn't come in that color, but I, by some fluke of a chance have managed to find the brakes I want in the color I want. You know what? I'm just going to show you guys. So yes, I have managed to find some spoon calipers in spoon yellow. These were the original anodized blue color, which I didn't think would work with this car. They have been resprayed in the spoon yellow, the exact same as what the rocker cover is for when I end up getting that, because I'm probably going to get that too. And these popped up and I just, I couldn't believe it. It was literally the dream brakes up in the right color already. So I didn't have to get anything painted. So hopefully everything's going to go all right, because I've got these and as part of the kit that I bought because these are second hand I also got some braided brake lines and they came with the pads and everything discs and it also came with some rear discs as well so we might as well throw those on at the same time so as you guys can see we've got these standard brakes on here now painted silver which to be fair doesn't look bad it definitely works with the silver wheel as well but the yellow of this caliper is just going to pop here it's going to go so well with the blue but here is a closer shot of these brakes and oh my god do they look cool so another JDM part that's going on the car and I just can't believe I found these in yellow also here is is one of the braided lines as well. So we've got some Goodridge braided lines to go on and we've got some other discs to go on as well. So I'll show you that as we get through it. So as you can see, the wheel is off and we're now at the back of the brakes. We've loosened this bolt here and then just tightened it back up just so once we actually take this all apart, this is actually gonna be easier to take off rather than trying to undo it for the first time whilst it's off the car. We've also sprayed some WD-40 in some areas. So we sprayed up here, also sprayed here with some WD-40 and the final one is down here. Those are all the bolts you need to be able to get the line out if you're doing the braided line. So now that all of those are sprayed up, it's now time to take the caliper off and the disc. So we've just undone the 12 mil bolts to remove the caliper away from the disc so that should just pull off like that now that the caliper is away you're then left with the mounting bracket we're going to tie this up just for now just to get it out of the way you can rest it or leave it dangling whatever you choose to do until we are ready to disconnect the lines also the pads are ready to come out so this is basically what you would do if you wanted to just change the pads on your front discs as you can see loads of life left in these pads not that that matters because I've got pads that came with the front disc anyway there's some PBS pads so I'll be putting those in anyway but it's good to know that I can just hang on to these and use them again. So now the 17 mil bolts have been undone that's holding this bracket on. This bit is ready to come off. So that bit comes off like that. And now we're ready to take the disc off. So these two 17 mil bolts are the two that hold on the bracket that are sort of either side of the brake disc shield. So once these come out, that whole bracket does come off. So I just thought I'd show you those. So now that the disc is off, you can see the dust shield on the back. So the spoon caliper actually requires you to cut along this line here to allow the bracket to be able to mount to these two holes. So we've got a cut off at this bit, which you can see has had some overspray from when those other calipers were sprayed silver. So you should be able to see a lot clearer now. This is the line that we're gonna cut along here and the line down here. What I will also do is I'll provide the sheet that Spoon provides with the kit because I bought this kit secondhand, I didn't get the documentation. So I'll leave a link below to the article I use, but also this is the photo for what the diagram that shows you where to cut. So next up is cutting this off. <laughs> So this is the amount that you actually end up cutting off for these things, quite a sizable chunk. But what we've also done is come back in with a file now and filed back any sort of rough edges on the edge of the bit that we've cut so that it's just a neater finish. So as you can see, this edge is a lot cleaner now. We filed it back, but basically the whole point of this is so you can clear here because where the spoon caliper mounts, it is fouling here because it's obviously a lot bigger. We also need to hammer this back as well to get it to clear here as well. So we'll do that next. So we're just offering it up for the first time to see if it's going to clear or whether we need to hammer back anything else. But it looks like we're all good. So that's wonderful news. So I'd show you these because they are changing. So this is obviously the standard disc, hence all the fingerprints on it. it looks pretty grim right now. But that's the standard disc. And we've got these rusty boys that just have been off a car for so long they've just got a bit of surface rust on them. But these C hook or J hook, not totally sure what these count as. These are going back on. These are going to look a lot better once they're not orange with rust. And I've got these for the rear. 
So here are the two rear ones as well. Whilst the disc is off of the car, it's now an easier time to get the brackets off for the braided, well, for the standard hose before it becomes a braided hose. And it's time for this disc to go on. I forgot to mention this when taking the disc off, but you'll have these like retaining screws that need to go back on as well. So just remember to one, uninstall those, and then two, reinstall them when you put your disc back on. And here we go, the caliper is being bolted on with those 17mm bolts. And we're now going to torque up those 17mm bolts to spec. So in the spoon pamphlet, it says that these need to go to 108 Nm. So that's why we've got this programmed in here. So yeah, let's tighten those up. Next up, we've got the pads to go in. So we've got some PBS pads used here and they've been labeled in and out, which is very convenient. Got those and we've also somewhere, where have they gone? We've got these bolts for the carrier. The previous owner changed from the spoon bolts. He changed to some stainless steel ones of the same spec, which is very nice. And we've got the carrier here as well. So those two of these bolts, into this to hold these pads in. So these are ready to go in now, and basically, yeah, this is probably one of the best reasons why you'd want four pots, because look how easy that is to put them in. So relatively simple. And then it's just a five mil Allen to screw those in. As simple as that. Moving forward, that's how easy it's gonna to be to change the pads on this thing. So now that's all in, this is actually installed now. The only thing left to do is obviously run the line. So because we're putting the braided line in, that gives us some extra steps. But if you were just changing over these and not changing your line, like you would just plug this up and bleed. We're now at the point where we're gonna take off the OEM hose because we need the fittings to be able to mount the braided line onto the new caliper. The bolt is gonna come out of there and it's gonna get installed on the new one in the same order that it comes off in this area just there. So the bolt is a 14 mil bolt and as you can see we're already losing brake fluid so definitely make sure you've got a tray or something underneath here so you can catch all that fluid so it doesn't go all over the floor. And these are the bits that we needed to get out of that so those can be transferred into the new caliper. Now that we've got the end mounted to the caliper we're now going to undo the original OEM hose at the side next to the car. We're going to undo as where you can see it's been pointed at right now. That's then going to hopefully mirror what we're about to put on just in OEM form so this has got a flat side on it so this is a 10 mil spanner so it took a bit of time to figure out exactly the route for this thing because the flat side ends up at the side of the body up that way so the flat side is against that part of the car it then runs down and this way it then mounts to only this point now so there isn't another mount on the back of the caliper like there is with the OEM piece it's mounted here then runs underneath the bracket that's here we have decided to leave the bracket in because it's not going to foul on it but that is basically it that is the whole line installed all right then guys this looks so sick I cannot wait to get the wheel up. obviously this is one side done but now we need to replicate everything that we've just done here on the other side so I'll get back to you once that is done but so we can get on with bleeding the system and boom there we go this side is now done as well so it's actually time to start the bleeding process which is going to be interesting because i've got a tool to do it this time which i've never experienced before so this is going to be a new experience for me so first of all obviously you can hear that compressor that's going to be for what we use to do the bleeding process but i just thought before we actually do that i'm going to pull the rear discs off of this and put the c hook j hook wherever they are discs on the back as well so i've got both wheels off the back quickly just putting those on and then we'll do the bleeding here are those rear discs I'm talking about I've already shown these obviously but yeah let's get these on the car and there we go one disc is on I'm gonna repeat the same on the other side just speed through this so we can get this thing bled because I want to get this on the ground so I can see what it looks like but yeah also quite a nice shot of the HKS exhaust out the back from this angle first time I've seen it like that okay so this is the first time I've ever seen this so you're learning as I'm learning this bottle up here has got excess fluid in it then we're attached down here on the spoon caliper and it basically pulls through here into here using vacuum and that bleeds the brakes basically so we're going to get on doing this starting with the passenger side front okay so here we go this is it in action as you can see it's pulling it all through you can start to see bubbles potentially coming this way as well but this should start basically going down as it pulls through So then guys, bleeding is finally done. For some reason, the passenger side had a load of air in it. I'm not sure if that's just because that was the first one we did and we were just bleeding the system for the first time. But once we got that one done, the others went pretty quickly after that as well. So exciting times though, because this thing is now ready for the wheels to go back on and for this to go back on the ground. So I'm gonna start putting the wheels on and then yeah, we'll see what it looks like once it's down. Okay guys, I haven't looked at this yet. I've managed to frame it up without looking. So you're gonna get my genuine reaction. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's exactly what I was wanting. Ah, oh, it's just, 
Mwah. Chef's kiss. Mwah. I can't believe this is mine. This is crazy. I'm going to get it, all these bolts torqued down and then I guess test drive time. So then guys, amazing that you can hear me from here. Let's do a brake test. Let's see what happens. So let's start this thing up. Whoa. Yeah, that was very soft. It stops, but the pedal like almost goes to the floor. Okay guys, so yes, the next day, basically after that last clip, we ended up re-bleeding it all and getting all the air out. All good now, bled and braking properly. So I was gonna take you for a test drive, but I realized you can't really portray braking performance on a video. The main reason for these is one, it's a spoon part, and two, they just look sick. That's pretty much the main reasons why I did it. The other benefit, I suppose, is I'll get less brake fade with a heavy braking. The previous owners of this actually did four track days and a trip to the Nürburgring on these brakes. They were obviously up for the task for that, so they're gonna be perfectly fine for what I'm gonna be using them for anyway. Obviously, I didn't show you what they look like with the wheels on either, so this is the first look for you guys. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with how this looks, to be honest. It looks so good against the blue. I'm really, really happy that I managed to even find these in this color. Like everything just fell into place and it was just something I just had to jump on. Hopefully this has been a useful bit of info for installing the spoon monoblock calipers on an S2000. I do feel like this isn't too difficult of a job to do by yourself. Definitely something you can do in a day, especially if you're not changing the braided lines. Like, although that wasn't too difficult either. If you're just swapping the calipers over, it's really not that much work to get these on. The one thing to mention though is the standard wheels probably aren't going to clear these brakes so make sure your wheel specs mean that you can clear it i've got quite a decent gap in between the caliper and the wheel way more than i do on the civic anyway make sure before you commit to these that you know your wheels are going to fit go check out the channel if you want to check out more videos on the build with this thing i know this is only now just getting started but if you want to check out any of the previous installs like the hks exhaust on this or if you want to go look at any of the civic content as well plenty of stuff on the channel so please do consider subscribing if you've enjoyed this one comment down below if you think these look good or if you think i should have done a different color or different breaks up completely like this one and i will catch you guys in the next one hey!